before this video starts, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's get into the video. What's up, Tots? My name is Ernie Potato, and today we are back and we are on Your Bizarre Adventures, and today we are going to be talking about Killer Queen's Requiem ability, in-game specifically. First thing I want to say, though, if they do not put in Killer Queen's Requiem before they do any other Requiem, maybe they, maybe they could do a stand, that's alright, maybe a stand or two, but after that, you need to do Killer Queen's Requiem, and then you can do another Requiem or another stand. Alright, got that? Got that, devs? Alright, before I get any angrier, let's talk about the Requiem. Alright, so, um, this Requiem, I'm not gonna be, well, I'm kinda gonna be making its ability, but it already has a real ability because this is a actual Requiem, unlike uh, King Crimson. Um, this is an actual Requiem, and I'm gonna explain its ability to you. So, um, basically its ability, uh, its Requiem ability is, uh, it's called Tertiary Bomb, alright, or Bites the Dust. And basically, this allows Kida to put, um, Killer Queen, a mini version of Killer Queen on someone. And if that person, uh, I guess you could say does something that he doesn't want, or he decides, triggers it, if they do that thing that he doesn't want or whatever, then they basically get sent back in time uh, an hour. So, that's basically it. Now, that wouldn't be very useful in game for combat. Um, at least I think so. Maybe if they get sent back maybe a minute, if like you hit them with something and then they kill you. Maybe if, maybe if you hit this person with the uh bites the dust ability and then they kill you then the game just gets reverted back to a minute ago and that i mean that'd be a pretty pretty solid thing because you're dead you were dead but now you're back alive and yeah you could just go back for revenge i think that'd be actually a pretty cool solid ability didn't really even think about that but um it'd be weird if the game was sent back a minute or whatever well it wouldn't be but it, it would just be weird to execute it as like an hour because that's what it was in the show maybe they could do the same thing but just as a minute or they could do i, I have no idea there's like so many things you can do but then not at the same time if you're trying to follow the actual requiem and the stand itself so um maybe they could if they don't want to do the actual thing because it's like too hard to decide on it they could do other abilities such as i don't know different types of like bombs or remote bombs maybe the stand becomes a remote stand that would be that would be cool actually if the killer queen requiem instead of having the actual abilities it just becomes a remote stand just like that stand right there uh emerald oh Oh, Herofant Green, I said Emerald, that's the ability name. But if it became a remote stand like that, and it could just set bombs and blow it up, that would actually be a really, really cool ability, not gonna lie. But uh, there, there's, there's a lot that can be done, but they probably do wanna kinda follow canon, but not canon at the same time, because I mean, it's, it's hard to execute the ability and still have it be a useful ability. I think the minute thing would be a really good idea, and I also think, that the other idea that I had with the what did I even say I forgot I need to write this stuff down well actually I'm recording it so that's that's good anyway um but I think those two would be some pretty solid ideas they probably have an idea probably working on this right now I have no idea though they decided to just sit killer queen to the side and do freaking something that's not canon so who knows what they're doing right now but anyway hopefully you guys enjoy if you did make sure to give me your ideas in the comments below and like subscribe and i will see you guys later peace